Hi, hello. This is Anup here, and in this video, what we are going to see is how to create Intune device configuration policy using Graph API. In the previous video, uh, we have seen how to get the details from Graph API or Graph using Graph Explorer, how to get the details, right? Device details and uh, uh, policy details, uh, all the all the details, right? Application details, etc. So in this video, we are going to see uh, how to create a, a QC uh, policy, right? Uh, probably we'll cover the custom policy, etc. So uh, I think uh, we have covered this in the last uh, video. Uh, this is to give you a brief overview of uh, what is a graph query, right? The graph API query for Intune. And if you, if you look at uh, some of the data from the MEM portal, it is using um, a beta version, beta version of the API. And uh, this is resource, resource, and uh, all the other things are kind of explained uh, in the in the previous video. And the, there was a related uh, blog post also, so you can refer to refer to that. Um, in this in this video, we will we will concentrate on creation process. So just to give you an overview, this was the get process, which was explained in the last video, right? Um, I will link that video uh, to the description of the description or as well as over here, right? Get is the um, command to uh, get the details uh, from uh, graph API or uh, through the graph explorer. And uh, here in this in this video, I'm going to use version 1, 1. 1.0 because uh, the dev version or uh, the, the, the previous version, right? That is, Beta version is not going, uh, not allowing to create uh, policies, Intune policies. So let's let's go through the 1.0 production version uh, to to create the policies. Okay, let's get into that. So I'm going into Graph Graph Explorer, and I have I'm using V1 V V1.0. Okay. And uh, let me get the query which I want to use. This is the device configuration query I'm going to use okay, over here. You would be able to see if you if I check device, it is under device management, device management, okay, and device device configuration. The device configurations is the um, is the thing which we are going to look into, and then under device configuration, you would be able to see different different policies. So one is the task taskbar policy, which which we created right for the cloud PC, and um, there are there are other policies like disable the um, skip the status page, etc. Right. So, for example, if you want to skip the status page, uh, you can create this kind of a policy. So, probably I'm going to take an um, example of this one, right? This is uh, this is to uh, enable basically the ESP. Okay, over here you can see a value true. Uh, the name is uh, display name is a bit different, so I'm going to sort that out. So, enable status page. It is. Uh, it is false, so this is <laughs> this is another one which I created. I think browser setting. So let's let's take sync browser setting policy right for this for this particular example, and to do that I'm going to copy the ID uh, so that I can get the actual details right. So for example, if I go here and paste the ID. And I will get only that particular policy JSON uh, file uh, response over here, so that I can I can work on this and uh, change the uh, change the details which I which I kind of require. Right? For example, I'm going to copy the display name and go over here and check 
whether the policy is there or not. Yeah, the policy is there and uh, you can go to go down over here and you can see uh, you can edit it and uh, you can check the details over here. So this is the um, this is the OMA URI and this is the value, right? So uh, let's let's try to create another policy uh, probably over here uh, with the value zero right through graph api and the graph explorer right so let's let's go into that process okay so let's try to cancel this okay go back to device windows okay and let's keep it like this okay, for now okay hmm, sync let's try to whether uh, this policy is there or not. Oh, okay, this policy is not there. So let's create in a policy in that name. Okay, so remember this is get again the get policy. So I'm going to use our favorite Notepad to do to do this. So so what I'm going to change is um, I'm going to remove this name right and the display name i want to sync the browser settings policy so i'm going to use this this as the display name and probably you can add graph api creation free or created using graph api or something like that right and version number one thing you need to remember is you need to allow graph api to create its own new id rather than having a duplicate one or our own id so something like that right so i'm going to delete the id line over here and keep it keep it like this uh, let's try that and the value, the, the OMA URI value, I'm going to change it to zero so that uh, we can we can confirm whether that's going to work or not. And rest of all the poly, all the things in this particular JSON, I'm going to keep it as it is, right? Now let's let's try to uh, copy this and then go back to Graph Explorer over here and let's post use the post command right post method to create the a policy or let's better i think better uh, get a new graph explorer tab over here tab over here and uh, post it and um, use the version 1.0 the same version okay i think i have not copied the json uh, Let's copy it again. Right before before doing that, I wanted to change the URL over here, search query over here. Right, so I'm going to copy the one which we used over here uh, without the ID and uh, using that. Right, so for example, I'm going to con uh, create this policy under device configurations and uh, this is the this is the new json uh, which we edited so let's let's try this how this is going to let's check whether this is going to work or not okay see the json body syntax error it says no it is a syntax error let's let's check that right if there is any response or not no there's no response law so i'm going to edit this and um, remove that space let's try that way right and it says there's a expected right so i think we have missed to copy some of the things probably from there i think i have missed this <laughs> parenthesis probably that's why okay so i'm going to edit the node Bad again, not bad. And uh, now, okay, let's delete this and create one and do the same thing, right? So remove the one, sync, and create it using F. Okay, um, so that was the one thing which we need to kind of check 
the the JSON syntax is correct or not. The value is changed. I can change the value and I have mm, copied that also. Now I'm going to use control A and control control. Let's say control A and then go back over here <clears throat> and see how this looks now. OK, so I think it looks better now because uh, the parenthesis is here. OK, now let's check again post V10 points V1.0 graph API query, which we are going to use a device configuration. And this is the JSON uh, which we did. And I'm going to remove the ID. Um, so I don't want to uh, have a duplicate ID. I will let uh, the graph to create uh, its own new ID, right? So let's run this again. See, oh, okay, <laughs> it worked. I think it worked because it says um, the creation created uh, the response is to 201 the, because this is HTTP method, right? And uh, this is uh, 2001 uh, thing. And you can see over here. Now let's go back and search this, uh, whether something changed over here or not, right? From sometimes it is going to take a minute or so uh, to to reflect this. Let's let's refresh, okay, and check, check it again. Right, see, this is created, and you would be able to see the new policy which is which is created with the value which we said see the value is changed to zero as as we as we configured in the json right so that is that is one thing i wanted to i wanted to quickly show okay and the other thing probably i wanted to show is maybe when if we use if we use the the, the other version, right? For example, the beta version, okay? What is going to happen? So this is the beta version. And if you, if you compare um, beta version of the, beta version of the query, let me take um, other notepad over here and let's compare it, right? You can see there are a lot of additional properties coming into the beta version uh, as a result, right? And the creation process, maybe uh, the creation of the policy process, maybe it's not supported for the new uh, new attributes in the JSON, right? So. So over here, you would be able to see, uh, obviously the ID is not there. Uh, yeah, it is there, right? It got created now ID, the, 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 we have not removed that, right? So that that is there. Some are the additional parameters are here under the sub scope tag parameter is here. That is not there in the uh, version, uh, version one, that is a production one, right? Um, see. Uh, these these are their uh, device management application compatibility rule. All these things are new in MEM, and that's not probably supported for the version one of graph. That's why it is not allowing us to create um, policy from a beta, right? For example, if I want to if I want to create the same, I I am going to do the same thing, right? I'm going to remove the ID from uh, the beta version and I'm going to change it to, I don't know, uh, beta. Let's say beta, right? Beta sync browser settings. Um, let's do that. Um, and then beta graph. Okay. Now let's change um, something over here. Read only value. 
okay is encrypted encryption all these things are new right i'm going to keep the uh, same value value probably we can change it to zero right over here we have changed it to zero so we'll change it to zero over here as well now then uh, i'm going to go copy this right i'm going to copy this copy and then um going back to post and going to use beta okay beta same thing right and uh, change it to changing it and copying the beta version of the graph api maybe i'm missing something over here right and that's why it is not uh, probably it won't allow me to uh, create the policy if you know what i'm missing probably you can comment in the video right it would be helpful for others like me <laughs> okay uh, let's let's run the query and yeah, check it try to create um, a beta version of the policy with all the um, all the properties etc new properties like scope tags etc etc right so run the query see it says it says 400 error 400 and it says okay this is this is custom custom api error phrase um, all these things are highlighted over here http header error no error source service all those things are coming up over here so it means it is not working right so i have not done a lot of r and uh, in this but um, you would be uh, let me know if you are more experienced in this and you have find out some solution uh, for the beta version of creation process right okay i think that was it uh, for this video thank you all for watching see you next time bye bye